Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Coding Together. My name is Vikas Hoja. Today we will see another lead code problem that is unique paths. It is a medium level question and it's also a very popular question as you can see from the likes. So let's read the problem statement first. There is a robot on an M into N grid. So we are given with a uh, M into N grid where M denotes the number of rows and N denotes the number of columns. So it has and the robot is at the grid 0 comma 0 and it has to reach the finish point that is uh, located at grid m minus 1 n minus 1 so in how many ways the robot can reach the finish point now the robot the condition is the robot can only move either down or right at any point in time it can move and only right or down so we have to find the number of possible unique paths that the robot can take to reach the bottom right corner so let's understand this problem with the same example drawn here the robot is at the position 0 comma 0 and the robot has to reach the finish point that is m minus 1 n minus 1 so we have to find the, all the unique paths the robot can, can take to reach m minus 1 n minus 1 at the cell so as we know the constraints are the robot can move either right and down right so one of the possible uh, ways to find the solution is backtracking you know finding recursively finding all the solutions recursively finding all the solutions from the starting point to the end point so suppose we start at 0 comma 0 so at 0 comma 0 robot has two choices either to go right or to go down again after uh, so suppose the robot goes down then the robot has again two choices either to go right or to go down and recursively recursively it will uh, again it will go to another cell right by taking one of the choices right and then again it has one of the choices until it reaches m minus 1 comma n minus 1 that will be our leaf node so that is what we do in recursion one of the possible ways is doing this right so if we you know find all the possible paths using this brute force so it will be of time complexity 2 to power m plus n right because the total depth of this tree recursion tree will be m plus n right robot can take m m steps of the rows like it can go down down till m and then go n uh, cells to the right to join uh, to reach the finish line so the maximum uh, depth of the tree for any path will be m plus 1 m plus n right either it takes like it goes 1 2 3 and then go if it goes 1 right 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 and then goes down then goes right so it will be always m plus n depth for any path so the time complexity will be big o of 2 to power n n plus m and the space complexity as i said will be m plus n because each path of this recursive tree will be uh, m plus 1 m plus n n events in the uh, stack in the D, uh, in the dfs stack so <coughs> how we can optimize this solution we can use dynamic programming dynamic programming so how we can see that whether this problem how we can deduce that whether say this problem can be solved using dynamic programming that is first optimal substructure optimal substructure and repeating or overlapping sub problems so these two conditions these two conditions uh, indicate that we can use dynamic program so what is optimal structure a substructure is that using the larger sub problem larger problem can be solved using 
smaller subproblems. Right? This is the optimal substru substructure. So how this satisfies this optimal substructure? That whenever robot moves either down or right, I, whenever the robot moves right or down, the grid, the area of grid reduces. Right, area of grid reduces. Area of the our problem gets reduced to a smaller sub problem. Right, if you see, if the robot ta moves down, the grid becomes this much, the highlighted one. Right, because it cannot go back right it cannot go up if it is moved down it can only go right so the area the area or the grid has reduced so our larger sub problem has reduced to the smaller sub problem so again if the uh, robot takes right so it, again if the robot takes right then the grid will become then the grid has reduced to this much right this is this portion so at every step at every step the grid size is decreasing right the grid area is decreasing so it's a smaller it's a optimal substructure so now overlapping sub problems the second point is over sub overlapping sub problems yes it's a overlapping sub problem because in this if you draw this recursive tree for a particular grid you will see that many of the cells are repeating right the robot might be reaching this cell so if you see the robot might reach this cell from here right from just the right the left of it so from here the robot can go right and reach this cell and from above also it can reach this cell so it's a overlapping sub problem right so the the question is meeting these two conditions hence it's a dynamic program uh, we can solve this by dynamic programming so we'll use what is called tabulation approach tabulation approach that is iterative iteration iteration method you can say iteration approach you can say now in this we go from bottom to up bottom to up right from bottom to up now we have to understand uh, what bottom to up means from a smaller we have to find the smallest sub problem we'll solve the smallest sub problem uh, and we'll find the optimal solution for it and using that smaller a uh, smaller sub problem optimal solution will solve the will keep on going up and up and up uh, solving larger and larger sub problems till we solve for the whole problem so that's the tabulation approach How, what is the smallest sub problem here so suppose the robot takes one step right so if robot is present at this cell so we are sure we are sure because there is no cell above so the robot has taken only one step from the left it has reached it has reached this cell the dotted one from the left only right so to reach this cell there is only one path there is only one path right also if you talk about this cell so there is only one choice for the robot so how would a robot reach this cell is only from this left cell right only from left cell so to reach this cell only there is only one path there is only one because there are no above cells right so for this complete row we we will be having only one path right there will be only one path to reach this cells now if i see the first column also to reach this cell the robot is on, will only take will go from up to bottom from up to bottom right the cell just above it it cannot go it it has it cannot come from the left side of it because there is no cell here similarly if you talk about this cell it will come from above so for the first row and the first column there is there are only one paths at all right there are one only one path. so if i if i draw this in the tabulation approach so if i talk about 0 1 2 3 let's take let's take a smaller grid right let's take a smaller grid with four columns and three rows 3 into 4 grid 3 into 4 grid 
now as i as we saw above so for for uh, each each uh, cell right for the each cell it will be one only right it will be one only one path right so to reach the starting point it's only one because there is only one path uh, it reached here it reached the start so the first row and first column will be all one now now we will we, when we are at this cell now let's talk about this cell when we are at this cell what about this cell so the robot can come from up the robot can come from up to this cell and can come from the left the robot can come from left if the robot can take the right and robot can take the down step so what we have to do so what we have to do we have to add we have to add the the dp the dp of the cell just above it right and what this this dp represents dp represents the number the number of unique paths number of unique paths the robot uh, can take to reach this cell right and this cell so we'll have to add the dp of 1 comma 1 and a dp of 2 comma 0 right so it will be dp of 1 comma 1 plus 1 comma 1 plus dp of 2 comma 0 that will be 2 right so what we have added to calculate the dp of 2 comma 1 to for dp of this cell like we have to add the number of unique paths a robot can take to reach this cell and this cell the ju cell just above it and the cell just left of it left of it right now at for this cell again we will add the dp of this cell and dp of this cell that is 1 plus 2 right so 1 plus 2 is 3 so there are three unique paths for a robot to reach this cell right now for the dp of th 2 comma 3 right for the dp of 2 comma 3 what we add is dp of 2 uh, 1 comma 3 just the cell just above it and 2 comma 2 so what is 1 comma 3 and 2 comma 3 1 plus 3 that will be equal to 4 right for this cell 1 plus 2 that will be 3 right the cell the dp of the cell just above it and dp of the cell just left of it now for this cell what will be 3 plus 3 that is 6 and for this cell it will be 6 plus 4 that is 10 so there are 10 possible ways to reach the finish point so let's see the code part of it okay so here we have initialized our dp right dp will be a 2d array with an size m cross n right for each cell we have a dp will representing each cell now we will call our helper method where we are passing the m n n the rows and the columns and the dp so we'll iterate over m n n for each cell right for each cell if i equal to 0 or j is equal to 0 we're initializing our dp as 1 so for the first row and the first column the values will be 1 so we have initialized as 1 else for the another cells it will be the dp of the cell just above it and plus the dp of the cell just left of it right these two cells as we talked about this one for this the dp of this cell it will be this one plus this one plus this one right the sum of these two cells will give the dp of this one so in this way finally as we know the last cell the dp of m minus 1 n minus 1 will give you the uh, total number of distinct uh, paths to reach this finish line right so uh, and finally we'll return dp of m minus n minus 1 so as we talked about the time complexity of it so we have for two loops for two for loops that are running so the time complexity will be big o of big o of m m cross n right 
So let's run this solution. Yeah, it's running fine. So the solution is correct. So hope you like this video. If you like this video, please share and subscribe and like the videos. Thank you. Thank you for watching.